Live on deck, if you can hear me. They've been documenting their life in quarantine for days, but just hours after posting this. Hi, just so you can see that we are alive and well. David and Sally Abel became the latest passengers of the Diamond Princess to test positive for the coronavirus. But while the couple have been taken off the cruise ship for treatment in Japan, their son says the British government should have done much more. The communication from the Foreign Office has been non-existent. It, uh, they, they've completely left them alone in the, it, in the dark. My mum and dad, have, I think, have, have had uh, more communication from America and Canada than, than England. But today, Brits on board have been told they could soon be flown home after the Foreign Office said it's working to organise a flight back to the UK as soon as possible. Adding, in a statement, our staff are contacting British nationals on board to make the necessary arrangements. We urge all those who have not yet responded to get in touch immediately. As US citizens evacuated from the ship have already landed back home, they're now facing a further 14 days in quarantine. Steps both Hong Kong and Canada are also taking. But will the UK follow suit? I think it's very likely that once these folk come back to the UK, they will be quarantined for another 14 days because if they've only contracted the virus in the last day or two, um, it may not show itself for that length of time. So I'm afraid that may well be the case. Japanese authorities say they hope to start to disembark passengers from tomorrow, but it's still unclear for the British citizens on board as to what will happen next. Well, Catherine joins me now. The idea then of keeping all these passengers quarantined on board in the first place, do you think it was the right thing to do? Well, I think you've got to remember that the decision to do this was made by Japanese authorities a few weeks ago when there was a lot of uncertainty surrounding coronavirus and the way that it was spreading. Now, there's also this 14-day incubation period to think about as well. That's where a person may have the virus in their system before showing any symptoms at all. So you could argue that by keeping people on board, officials were able to monitor the thousands of passengers more closely. Now, that said, the expert that I spoke to earlier that you saw in my report they did point out that illnesses have a reputation of traveling extremely quickly or spreading quickly across uh, cruise ships in this instance we've seen just over 500 cases of coronavirus out of 4,000 passengers so I think it will be interesting to see exactly what happens next okay Catherine Ash thank you